Hey church family, thanks for joining us for another day of our daily devotionals. Man, we're just a couple of days away from a whole new year. Uh, I hope it's going to be a great year. I hope that you're already putting together those New Year's resolutions that maybe you're going to keep, maybe you're not going to keep. Uh, one that I hope you do keep is I hope that uh, you continue to start your day or, or have a time in your day where you're spending time in the Word of God, spending time with some devotional thoughts, some time in prayer, and, and really digging into His Word. And, and so without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, today we are picking right up where Brother Brent left off yesterday, kind of looking at uh, hey, God, understand that no one should ever say that God is putting someone through a trial. And James is going to go one step further here in verse 16 through 18 when he says, Don't be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. By his own choice, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that we would be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Uh, James wants it to be so clear that uh, God does not give us things that are bad. He does not. And, and God is not some kind of, you know, angry, uh, you know, teenage kid who whose mind is going to change constantly about whether he's upset or not. No, that's that's not who God is. God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow and for all of eternity. He doesn't shift like, like James says, like shadows. Who God is is who God is. You know, he is exactly what scripture says that he is, which is what he says he is. And, and he has promised that he is not going to give us bad things. Now, James makes very clear here, every good gift comes from above. Everything that we have that we consider good, that is truly good, comes from God. Not from your hard work, not from a, a, a relative or a friend or a loved one. Uh, nothing that we have comes from anyone around us if it is good. If it is good, it comes from God uh, always. And, and there's one thing, and he, he begins to talk about it here, that is good beyond the good that, of anything else. And, and that is the grace of God, which he chose to, to pour out on us. And he alone could pour out that grace. The reality is, in our sin, we deserve hell. We deserve to be eternally separated from the Father. But but James makes so clear here that, that God chose to pour his grace out on us. And that is the most good gift that we could ever receive. The good gift of grace, the good gift of eternal life. And our Father, who offers that good gift, offers only good for us. Now, does that mean that we're not going to face trials, that we're not going to face bad things? Hey, let's not forget what the beginning of, of James chapter 1 says. Hey, you will face trials. But in the midst of those trials, when good comes about, we can know that that is God providing that good. And so our author gives us a couple of questions for us to look at. It says, what good things has God given to you that you didn't deserve? And certainly there's probably a lot of things. I hope uh, a lot of you men out there say, man, God gave me a great spouse. Uh, I know I certainly would say that I don't deserve my wife, but the Lord uh, gave me a good wife. Uh, he's given me good children, um, you know, but the, the thing that is good beyond all of the others is the grace of God. And I hope that that's at the very top of your li list of the good things that God's given you. And that is grace. If you're a believer watching this, it's the grace that he has given you. Uh, and then the second question we see is, what difference should it make in your life to know that every good thing you have comes from God? And and I hope that the difference it makes is that you live with a life of gratitude, uh, knowing that, that God has given you everything, the food on your table, the home that you live in, the people that you live with, the very grace that is going to allow you to be united with the Father one day. Every bit of it has come from God. And so we should live uh, eternally with gratitude for all that he's done for us. And church family, as you are living with that gratitude, I want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you.